This is Chrissy Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. I got a really cool upcoming series. My beautiful daughter, McKenna, just bought her very own home and we're gonna be teaching her how to paint it. And this is a do it yourself series. Today's topic is gonna to be how to patch holes in a wall. So once you roll the walls, you won't see the holes. Stay tuned for the whole upcoming series and let's get started on today's topic. So today's video is brought to you by Paint Life Gear. Our shirts, hats, tools, and accessories can be found on our tool store at theidahopainter.com. And today's special tool is the two-edge knife. We're gonna be using this to patch holes in the wall. So I'm gonna to explain to my daughter, McKenna, how to patch holes. We've got Sun Valley texture walls here, so they're a really smooth wall, and it's very important to do a proper patch so you don't see where you patch the holes after you paint the walls. Some of the tools that we're gonna be using today is the two-edge knife. We've got a Linvide scraper we're gonna be using in this video. We're gonna be using some sandpaper. I've also got two putty knives we'll be using. We've got small and large putty knives. And I think that's it. These are all the tools we're gonna to be using to patch the holes in the wall along with spackle that we got setting behind us here. So let's get started on that, the teaching process, showing her how to properly patch a hole in a wall. Okay, we got a couple holes right here, McKenna. These are uh, kind of what we got mostly around the entire house. And rub your hand over the hole right there so you can feel the hole is kind of um, I would say protruded, extruded. What happens is when somebody, there was two screws in here, when somebody screws a screw into the wall, it kind of raises and it volcanoes the, um, the hole itself. And if you were to just spackle that and then just leave it as is, it would leave a bump on the wall. And these are very smooth walls. This is a Sun Valley texture wall. So what you wanna do is you wanna scrape that first. So I use, I like using the Linvide scraper. It's a sharp carbide scraper. And that's gonna scrape down what we call the volcano and it's gonna make it flat. So you just scrape it like this first and then we'll begin the spackling process. So take your Linvide scraper, you can scrape the hole and you wanna keep your scraper flat so you don't gouge the wall, but you wanna put enough pressure on it that it's, there you go, that it's actually scraping it flat. So then you'll feel now, now you can feel there's no bump. Now they're ready for spackle. So I'm gonna take some spackle right here and you can take and use, we got multiple tools. I like sometimes just spackling with my um, two-edged knife. So you could use that or you can use a, what we call a putty knife. And I got a, a small putty knife here and this is a flexible putty knife. You can see it's flexible and I like flexible knives. This is a non-flexible knife. So we can take a flexible putty knife and you want something that's wider than your hole. So this is a nice common, commonly used spackle knife right here. And now I'm just going to take and put my putty or spackle over the hole and completely scrape it now. And you can see it's all flat. And then what I like to do is wipe off any excess spackle off around the hole. This is a flat, flat wall, smooth wall. If it was textured, like an orange peel texture, it's very important to wipe off the spackle around the orange peel texture. Otherwise, you're gonna have a flat mark there. So you can take some spackle now, spackle the next hole. So just kind of work it in, just, just from different angles. Just taking, you'll, you'll wanna just wipe some spackle on, just like that, and just, just press in, wipe it on. Just press it down. Put, put a little bit of force, so a little bit of force will fill that, that hole. It'll push the spackle down into the hole. There you go. Now you can take your hand and just wipe off any excess spackle or bumps in those two holes are perfectly patched, ready to go. Let them dry. Once they're dry, we're gonna lightly sand them and then they'll be ready for paint. Hold your spackle here and we're gonna do a couple more holes. We're gonna walk around the house and get all these spackle. This is the first step to the painting process and then we'll move on to our next step. All right, so we have um, McKenna, this is a, a couple of situations here what you'll run into occasionally, but this is what we call wall anchors right here, and these are plastic wall anchors. So typically you can pull them out sometimes and get them out, but if you can't get them out, because they spread and sometimes they're in the wall pretty hard, but there's a wall anchor. If you can't get them out, uh, sometimes the end of your five-in-one or your putty knife, if you just hammer them in, 
and that kind of creates an indentation in the wall and now you can spackle over that. Another thing, if they're, instead of hammering them in with the end of your putty knife, you can just take your putty knife and then scrape them right off. If you hit it really hard, it'll scrape it off. But you can see this is flat now. You can run your scraper over it to make sure it's completely flat. And now we have something to putty. So here's your spackle. So get enough spackle on there. You got some pretty good sized holes to fill. Once again, you want, these, are, these holes are getting a little bit bigger, so sometimes it might be better to use a wider knife. So here's a wider knife right here. A little bit more pressure when you're pushing it in. Put, there you go. And then more pressure scraping it off. Just, just push really nice and firm. So when you scrape, just nice and firm on it. There you go. All right, to let that dry, come back and sand it. Got a few more holes to work on. Oh. Faster and harder. That's scary. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you did it wrong. Get your leg. Here, sit down. You can pull it out or hammer it. Mentation. Use some force. Use I did, I got it in there. Is it now feel if it's flat, run your knife over it. There you go. Now run your knife to see if it's flat. Yep. <laughs> just go ahead and just work it. Okay, McKenna, here's, um, we see a lot of these. These are little holes in the walls are from little nails. And if you gotta pull them out with a pair of pliers or a hammer, go ahead and do so. But instead of taking a spackle knife and over a little tiny hole like that, or even this spackle knife, instead of just swiping over it, what I like to do is just take a little bit on my finger and just daub it over the holes just like that. So here's some holes we just spackled McKenna and we got them, um, they're all dry now. All you gotta do is just take a sponge now. You definitely wanna sand them because you might have a little bit of ridges around from where you knifed and stuff and you don't have to over sand. All you have to do is just, just hit it lightly like that and that's good and sanded. So we're gonna go around and sand all of our spackle spots that we spackled. So you can just sand that one right there. Just put it on lightly and sand it a little bit more. And that's good to go. So we'll sand them all and then we'll begin the painting process after everything's prepped. So there you go, how to patch holes in the wall. We're gonna just cruise right along, continue doing all these patches. When they're dry, we're gonna sand them with our medium sanding sponge and we'll all be done. If you got any questions or comments for McKenna, leave them in the questions or comments section below. She would love to answer them, wouldn't you? And we'll let you know how she does. <laughs> um, do you wanna say anything to our viewers? Any last goodbyes? I did it. You did it. Did You're it, learning. Mom. So we're hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give McKenna a thumbs up. And like we always say, we'll see you when. We'll see you when we see you. On our next video. Oh. Out.